Hello everyone and welcome to another DIY Projects with Pete episode. Today we're going to do a cool metal project. This is actually the silhouette of Minneapolis. You could do it of any town though. And we used a combination of plasma cutting, welding, and patining to complete this project. For all the detailed instructions and show notes, I'll have a post on petesven.com so that you can see everything, all the tools involved and how to complete the project in detail. The first thing you'll get, you're going to need to do is get your steel. I've got a couple pieces. And then I also had a cutout um, of downtown Minneapolis. And these are available from signsofthemountains.com. You can have them cut any design that you would like to put on metal. And they'll ship that right to your door. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to be doing is plasma cutting your design out of the metal. And with this particular project, I'm doing it in two layers. So the silhouette actually stands out about an inch and a half from the background piece. Just take your time here. Stay as steady as you can be. And this is the fun part. We get to finish off the last cut. Now you're going to want to hit some of those rough edges with a grinder. I use a flap disc and it takes those away pretty quickly. All right, you're going to want to have the metal really clean before you patina it. Otherwise, the patina won't soak into the metal. So we're going to take muriatic acid and you need to be really careful with this stuff. Always wear a respirator and you'll want to um, have a well ventilated area. Let the muriatic sit for a bit and then you'll scrub it and uh, just go in small circles. The grease will slowly disappear. After that's done, you'll want to run some water over it to rinse it off. Next, you'll hit it with a sander real quick to buff it up. And then I like to get some of the rough edges that I couldn't with the bigger grinder with a Dremel tool. Now we're going to use some square tubing to give the piece a little more dimension uh, to allow it to stand out from the wall. And we're also going to use the square tubing sort of as a bracket to hang the piece from. So we're cutting the square tubing and then also some rod that we're going to use to add a little more dimension from the foreground item uh, to the background piece. Here's a look at the brackets for the back. And we're going to cut a small groove and it's essentially just a wide hole on the top piece. And we're just going to use that so that we can mount it to the wall. You'll be able to take a nail or a photo frame mount and stick it in that hole, which will just allow you to easily mount it to the wall. All right, we're going to tack those brackets on with a welder. Make sure to take your time, get some good welds. Then you're going to have some burn marks on the front because you did weld those brackets through some thinner metal. So you just clean those up a little bit. Use a 120 grit sandpaper and you can follow up with 220. So these are the rods. And, and this is what's going to allow that front silhouette to stick out from the background piece. These are about an inch and a half long. There's four of them just spread throughout the piece to um, balance it out. You'll want to make sure those are all nice and secure. Then take a grinder and clean up some of the rough edges and some of the slag that's splattered.
it'll have a few burn marks again. So you'll just want to clean those up, hit it with a 120 grit, and follow with 220 on an orbital sander. And now on to the real fun part. This is the patina process. I have a weed torch connected to a propane tank, just like you'd see out on a gas grill. You'll want to heat up the metal, and this is going to let the patinas react a little bit better. Now I'm spraying on ferric nitrate. Make sure you're wearing a mask and, and being safe about everything with proper ventilation. Keep heating it up with that torch. And then after this ferric nitrate, we're going to spray on some uh, potassium sulfite. And it's really going to give it a black color quickly. We'll heat it up a little bit more. And then we're just going to set it uh, aside and, and let it uh, do its thing. And the fun part about it is that you no, never know exactly how your piece is going to turn out. No pieces are the same. Then you can just let it dry. Here's a time lapse of the whole process taking place, which actually took about 10 minutes. Let's grab some paste wax to seal the project. You want to grab a, a towel and just wipe the paste on there slowly and in circles you'll notice the project's going to darken up a lot and and it will but then you'll come back and buff it up and some of that color will come back and it will have a nice smooth finish let's go ahead and speed this process up as you continue to buff the project you'll notice those colors really came back and created some interesting patterns. I'm real happy how this turned out. Now go ahead and grab that silhouette, measure it to center it on your background, and then we'll weld it on. And here you're just going to do some tack welds on each side and make sure that it's nice and secure. Lastly, we'll wax the top piece, that silhouette of the city. And then you may have to do a little touch up on the background with some wax and buffing as well. And we have another DIY project complete. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. For detailed instructions and complete show notes, head over to DIY Projects with Pete at www.petesven.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash DIY projects with Pete. Good luck with your next project, everyone. And remember, don't be afraid to try something new. Cheers, guys.